Hey, welcome back in, friends. May is National Barbecue Month, and what better way to indulge than to have some incredible I know. Kentucky-based <laughs> barbecue food here. And lucky are we. We are joined by uh, David Carroll of Red State Barbecue. David, thank you so much. Yeah, it's Good great to, to see be you here. again, bud. Yeah, it's great to see you, too. David, we are fans. Let's just get that out yeah. right, right, <laughs> off the, right off the top here. Um, Red State always delivers. Give us the... Give us the backstory here. How, how did you guys get started? I know it was 14-some years ago, and you, you've just been crushing it ever since. Well, the original owner was a guy named Scott Allsweet, and he's a, he was a horse vet here in Lexington. He's moved off to New York now. But uh, he was looking for a place to have a beer and have some barbecue. He's mm. originally from Texas, and so he found the spot on Georgetown Road, and that's where we opened up his Red State Barbecue. I helped him out with his marketing in the beginning, and okay. so he never forgot that. And mm -hmm. then two years later, he contacted me and asked me if I wanted to buy the restaurant. So oh, here we wow. are. Look yeah. at that. Wow. 11, 11 plus years later. That's yeah. incredible. And how did you come up with the name, too? Well, Scott was trying to figure out what the name of the, the, the business, and he and a buddy were sitting having a beer one night, and they were watching the midterm elections, mm. right? So uh, they're watching this, and of course, the. They have the map comes up with the red and the blue and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And he, he turned to his buddy and he said, you ever notice how all the good barbecue comes from the red states? <laughs> and so there it was. And so, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's what he I ran love with. That. And, yeah. I love it too. Well, and we love the barbecue. Talk a little bit about your smoking process because you guys do something really special. Sure. Well, everything's low and slow for us, right? Mm. So we have a process like with the pork and brisket, you're talking about a 15 to 17 hour process. So maybe you're loading at two o'clock in the afternoon, and coming in and taking it at seven on seven a.m. in the morning. You're taking oh, wow. it off, wow. right? So yeah, it's a long process, but uh, it's labor intensive, you know. But that's part of the that's part of the whole game. Well, and you guys are passionate about it. You're such a local favorite for everyone around here too. Um, let's talk about events and things like that that you might be uh, celebrating for this month. Well, yeah. Well, of course, we have the start of uh, barbecue season, which is Memorial Memorial Day. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, so we're we're getting ready for that. Of course, we have a lot of catering uh, that's uh, that'll be going out. Um, so we get hit pretty hard around that time. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. we always get prepped up for that and. Get everybody ready to go because yeah. it's going to be a busy, busy weekend. Catering, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, do folks? Um, how far ahead do they need to call? I mean, how does that process work for your catering? We have a, about a 24 to 48 hour window. Okay. okay. Depending on what it is, uh, the larger events, obviously, you want to call ahead on that or email. And if you want to email, it's it's catering at redstatebbq.com. Okay. Okay. Um, but uh, we've got a great catering director. Abby does a great job for us. And uh, our dance card is, is pretty full, but we've always got some room for more. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, David, I wanted to talk to you a minute about marketing. I've always felt like yours was very organic. And there's like a legend and lore that comes with good barbecue, you mm -hmm. know? And, and you guys have that. I mean, it's just, it's, some, it's something undefined, special. Is, is there a vibe or a way to describe, you know, what, what you guys do and where you are? It's... <laughs> Well, that's very interesting. I've never heard it described that way, but I love it. <laughs> um, you know, it's just, it comes down to the product. You know, the product, I always said, if you could just get the food on the tongues of the people, the food will market itself. Yes. Right? And so it's always been that way. And that's what we, you know, when we had the food truck, we would do that. And of course, the catering is big. Big right. part of that as mm, well, but sure. uh, but the the thing is, it has to be consistent. But if you have the marketing, what you see in the marketing has to follow through oh, yes. with what you get in the, yeah. in, the in the restaurant and catering yeah. and, and everything. Absolutely, so consistency and is. Key. You guys always deliver. Yeah, uh, and I love it. And you know, um, I know that you're a local favorite here, but also I'm curious: Have you seen celebrities stopping in? Who are some <laughs> famous folks that have? Well, of course, we have the the Dennis Quaid picture in the restaurant. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's also a on our TripAdvisor page, which I probably should take down. It's only been like six years. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, we've had, we've had Dennis in, John C. McNeil, mm -hmm. who, of course, you know, is Dr. Cox from Scrubs. Yes. Mm. He came in and he stayed late and he, wait, he waited until everybody left because he had like ribs and he had chicken wings. Okay. And so he hung around and so the guys were talking to him and he, he pointed to Dennis's picture and he's like, oh, I see Denny's been here. <laughs> and, I, so I, and, and of course, you know, Dennis has been around for years, going back to like 77, um, you know, movies as, as far back. But it was really kind of funny with, with uh, John C. to come in yeah. and sit there. And it turns out they were actually in a movie together several years ago. Oh, okay. So they actually do know each other. Very but, cool. Uh, but yeah, we've been blessed with a lot of people. We, we hear that Steve Zahn is a fan. 
I've never seen him personally, but I've heard him talk about him. Okay. Yes, so, yeah. yeah, so we, and of course, there's other times we don't know who's walking through the door, and sometimes they're incognito. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. We don't know. That's right. Well, everybody gets the same thing. Just uh -huh. great barbecue, and uh, boy, you're just a wonderful part of our community, too. Mm -hmm. we, we appreciate you. what you do. We want to celebrate Barbecue Month with you the whole month, so you're going to see us <laughs> in here quite a bit. And thank you so much for bringing the, the spread today. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this I'll is see exciting. You next, next Wednesday, same time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> just give us a quick round the horn here. What, what did you bring for us Sure, today? got some pork, chicken, brisket, yeah. and of course, fan favorite, the mac and cheese. That's oh, our, yes. That's our big shell mac and cheese. Of course, what's great about that, it's like thick and rich and creamy. And of mm -hmm. course, that, that creaminess gets inside the shell, and it's just wonderful. You're killing me, David. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, our baked beans. Brought some of the rubs, so you oh, guys yeah. can have that. It's pork, chicken, and uh, beef. Yeah. And then, of course, also, uh, we've got Nine, eight sauces total, but something for everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. bottled up. They yeah. can buy it in your store or even online too, right? But they can buy it online. Just go to redstatebbq.com. Yeah. But we're also in Kroger, Liquor Barn, uh, Publix in Louisville. Of course, when Publix gets here into Lexington, we'll be there. Okay. Um, and then a bunch of other places. Yeah, yeah. and you have great desserts too. That's great. <laughs> Good friends Not and neighbors. Not that I would know. <laughs> Red State guys. Celebrate uh, Barbecue Month this month, and uh, we're going to celebrate during the break. We've got <laughs> entertainment headlines on the other side. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, great, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Back in just a second.